Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Elden Ring. This time I'm going to show you how to defeat Bloodhound Knight Darwill in the Forlorn Hound Everjail. This boss was in the closed network test, however he was moved to a different area of Limgrave just to sort of throw you off the trail. This boss is not that difficult, especially probably by the time you find him you'll be fairly leveled up. I have a plus 5 weapon at this point, just a plus 5 straight sword. Um, he sort of has two phases. I would call it 1.5. In the second phase, he basically just becomes more aggressive. He doesn't get any new abilities. I will let you know this boss is parryable. I have confirmed that with multiple people. However, I'm really bad at it when it comes to this boss, so I'm not able to demonstrate any of the timings here. I apologize for that. Uh, he does stack bleed. As you notice, the meter will probably pop up every time you get hit. Bleed in Elden Ring is very similar to Dark Souls 1, where once it stacks all the way up, you take a huge amount of damage. So you want to make sure that if your bleed meter is filling up really high, you're probably better off just avoiding the boss for a minute. Let it drop back down. This way you don't actually get hit with the bleed. That's one way to manage it. So here in Phase 2, he's below 50% health. He's just becoming more aggressive. He does more of the teleporting moves, just moves around a lot faster, a little bit less predictable. He reminds me a lot of Dancer of the Boreal Valley in his movements, very silky, very smooth, but also sort of like Watchdogs of Farron with the delayed hits. It's a really cool boss. I liked him in the network test, and I still like him here. Very cool implementation. But if you come to him kind of late, he's going to die really quick just because your weapon is dealing so much damage, and that's honestly how I recommend taking care of him. His reward is just a weapon, so it's not something game-changing that you'll need for the rest of the game. It's just a Bloodhound's Fang, which is a good weapon, but, you know, it's not like coming here is, is a necessary part of the game. So, if you're having a hard time with him, just come back later. You should be able to destroy him pretty quick. And that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Elden Ring, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when you guys go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll switch on Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.